start. Yeah. Hello everybody, uh, I'm here with Lawrence Lessig and we just heard his impressive speech about creative commons and how it all emerged and I would love to learn more about how did the whole movement start and how important is it to get in contact with the people who actually use it. Well, the movement started by, rec by us recognizing that unless we found a way to make digital technologies and copyright compatible, we were going to have this war, which we've had, but it was going to be ultimately destructive to the potential of digital technologies in the Internet age. So we build a system that respects copyright, but enables the owners of copyright to be more flexible in a standardized way about um, how they make their work available. Um, and connecting that freedom with business models now becomes the extremely important next step to the movement. So we've been extremely excited that you know, companies like Google and Yahoo, um, through Flickr, and uh, uh, even this new fantastic photo sharing site, Photonaut, um, having, have built this into the DNA of their uh, enterprise as a way to signal why sharing is such a critical part of um, the new business hybrid economy. So what is more important, talking to the consumers who actually use it or talking to the companies to implement it? You have to talk to both. Um, you have to get the consumers to realize why this issue of copyright is not the simple black and white piracy versus protecting Hollywood question. And then the companies got to realize that framing the issues of IP as if it's a religious war is ultimately destructive to their own business. So um, we've been trying to have both conversations at once. Okay. So what do you rank, recommend people, what should they do in the next couple of years to stop this war? I think they've be, got to become active. And so becoming active is number one, to um, express their own view in freedom. And so using CC licenses on their blog or um, in their Flickr account or on their um, Picasa uh, uh, account is, is one good first way to do it. And the second thing is to start putting pressure on politicians to come up to speed in this issue. I mean, I think one of the most interesting comments was Nicholas Enstrom's comment that businesses are about five years ahead of uh, uh, legislators. The legislators are still, you know, building more uh, tanks and deploying more troops in this war while the businesses are trying to figure out how to make peace and make it work. And, and I think that's a really critical step forward. Okay, great. Right. Thank Thanks. you very much.